So what we're going to talk about now is what makes the ball go and what are we trying to do here? Well, in a bunker shot, this is very different than any other shot you hit in golf because there is no ball club contact. So the ball goes where the sand goes, not where the club face is aimed. So if I took a line here and I drew a line in the sand, pretty much right at that flag. But all of a sudden I set up and I take the club face and now the club face is aimed way over here. So the club face is way open. But when I make a swing and I hit, where does the ball go? Well, the ball went straight at the flag. It didn't go where the club face is aimed. Why? Because the ball doesn't hit the club face. So we're setting the club to do different things in the sand. So you, you got to be okay with how the face is sitting because as we get into this and we start talking about how you set the club face to hit different shots from different lies, you got to keep understanding that the ball goes where the sand goes. Now, I could set the club face way open and hit the sand. You see where the sand goes. I could set the face way closed. Where does the sand go? Sand's going the same place. So what's the difference with the club face angle? Well, the club face angle makes the club, when it hits the sand, do different things relative to the ball or the lie of the ball. So it's really important that you understand that that ball is going to go where the sand goes. So we're right back to what are we trying to do? Well, we're trying to hit and throw sand. So the very first thing you do when you get in a bunker is you just get in the bunker and stand there and hit and try to throw the sand out of the bunker. That's the first most important thing because that's really all I'm doing here is hitting and throwing the sand out of the bunker. The ball comes out. Why? It's another grain of sand. People get so fixated on the ball and hit an inch behind it, hit two inches behind it. The reality is I could make a swing and as long as I could make a terrible swing, but as long as I hit down into the sand and throw the sand out from under the ball, what happened? That was a terrible swing. I hit three inches behind it over the top, but it still worked. Why? I hit down and I threw the sand. Or I just threw the sand out. You do that, the ball comes out. That's the first most critical thing is to understand you're throwing sand. You're not hitting a ball. The ball's not really even in play. It's another grain of sand. Hi, I'm Mike Malaska. Go to malaskagolf.com to take a look at the M system. This is the most important part of the site because it's a process. It goes skill number one, task number one, and it takes you through the golf swing. Rather than randomly being out there trying to put it together, which virtually hardly anybody figures that one out. So make sure you go to malaskagolf.com, sign up so you can see how to really build your game the right way so you don't ever lose it again.